what's your style? Creamy, tasty, yummy. Move like this and feel like that. Creamy, tasty, yummy. Festive cream rolls. That's the perfect snack. Creamy, tasty, yummy. What's your flavor? What's your style? Perfect snack for everybody. Move like this and feel like that. Creamy, tasty, yummy. Creamy, tasty, yummy. Festive cream rolls. Creamy, tasty, yummy. Perfect snack for you all. From the makers of Festive Bread, we introduce festive cream rolls available in four flavors. Vanilla, strawberry, caramel, and chocolate. Festive cream roll, the perfect snack for all. The one word you're hoping to hear that the word master asks you? Embedded. Um, I'm wishing that he ask me his souvenir. Chrysanthemum. Actually, the word, which one? Chrysanthemum. Even me, I don't know Chrysanthemum. I think of the word, the way it might be, the way it is written, then I write it on my mind. Mm -hmm. After writing it, I will spell it. I follow his lips. And how on how he pronounces it. I articulate the words, I write them down, not cramming because cramming will not help me in any way. I'll just need to put God first and uh, he'll do his wonders. Good morning to you and welcome to the Kenya Spelling Bee. My name is Kalecha Mumu. I'm your host for this second season of this fabulous episode and entire season yeah not just this episode the entire season by the way if you thought i was going to go away <laughs> sorry i'm here to stay because i love good well-spoken english and it starts with understanding words and how they are spelt this amazing show is brought to you by our lovely sponsors dpl festive veda stationery and ting ting confectionery by kenna afric industries and containers better known as a Ken Tank, among other sponsors, which we will be sharing with you a little later. The show clearly is about ensuring that the multitudes of students who come out, competed in their counties, show us that they can be the best spelling champion ever. So we have 40 counties and we have students from across all of them right here, 10 of them on the stage today from different places. They'll be telling us where they're from as we try and find out if they can be that spelling champion. To do this, of course, I have to have the man who's got the words. Our word master, Willis, how are you doing this morning? Fine, thanks. And uh, one thing that you've just impressed me with so much is when you talk about that ability to speak good English, it is which we instill or we always disseminate in the minds or the heads of the young ones, but they are wonderful. First of all, can I just say that I really like your shirt? Oh my gosh, that pink is really dope. Man, can you, we have a round you, of applause for the so word master? Pleasure. It's looking really good. Yeah. I love yeah. it. Yes, that's great. <laughs> So guys, that is our word master, but of course, there have got to be some rules so that everybody is following the right path to being the next spelling champion. So, let me walk you through the rules. Rule number one says that a speller may not receive help of any sort from other spellers or members of the audience, so everybody needs to remain hush. 
There will be a total of three rounds and each of those spellers will be challenged with two words in round one, two words in round two, and three words in round three. What that means is that you have the opportunity to try out all those words for so long as you get them right. If you do not get them right, then you will be eliminated. So that has to be very clear. In each round, the spellers will receive one word at a time so that we are able to tell whether you go on or not. Now, if they spell the word correctly, they will proceed to the next word. If the word is incorrect, they will be eliminated, right? And they will be asked to leave. Each contestant will be required to spell their word within 20 seconds, after which this buzzer will go off. And when you hear that sound, your time is up. If you haven't completed the word, you will automatically be eliminated. Now, contestants may pronounce their words before spelling them, after spelling them, or not at all. But for the words with capitals, we must get those capitals spelled out correctly. For example, if you are asked to spell the word October, it has to start with a capital O for you to be able to spell the word completely and correctly. Now, spellers are asked not to use any of the shortcuts that you may have heard out there. For example, double B or double C, that will not give you a mark. You must spell each letter on its own. If a word is unclear to a contestant, he or she may ask for the word to be repronounced, defined, or used in a sentence. Once a contestant has begun to spell this word, however, they may not ask for the word to be repronounced, defined, or used in a sentence. The competition will continue until we have three contestants who are proceeding to the next level, because remember, we are looking for that ultimate winner who walks away with half a million shillings and a 26-seater school bus that goes to their school, among other prizes that will come. But the ultimate winner is who we're looking for in this case. Now that the rules are all clear, Wordmaster, it's your turn to take on the questions. And are you ready? Well, if you are ready, then I have to start with speller number 121. That is 121. So can you come forward so that I give you the word? I am Benedicta Mutuku, Selamaris Academy, Kitui, 11 years old. Now, your first word is absolute or absolute, the way we say it locally, absolute. Just like you can say, there was absolute silence in that room. A, B, S, O, L, U, T, E. Absolute. Correct. Correct. Your second word is dedication. Just like you can say, Dedication makes you a good worker. Dedication. D-E-D-I-C-A-T-I-O-N. Correct. So get back to your seat. You got both words right. Now, speller number 130. My name is Derek Tanzini from Yabondo Boys Boarding Primary School. I'm in class 6 and... I'm 11 years old. I see. You are ready? Yes. Your first word is scratch. To scratch. S C R A T C H. You are right. Your second word is consultation. The doctor asks for consultation fee. C O N S U L T a T I O N. Correct. You've got both words uh, right. We have speller number 122. That is 122, if you like. So, can you come forward? My name is Sharon Orero from Olives Academy School in QC Town. I'm 13 years old. Your first word is responsible. So and so is responsible. R E S P O N S I B L E. 
Correct. You got it right. Your second word is nuclear. Nuclear. Just like you talk of nuclear and extended family. So can you spell nuclear? N-U-C-L-E-A-R. Correct. You've got it right, so get back to your seat. <laughs> wonderful start there by these wonderful children. Now, speller number 129. Uh, my name is Daniel Ocheng. I'm from Migori County, Goshen Learning Center. Thank you. Good. Now, your first word is seminar. Seminar? Yes. S-E-M-I-N-A-R. Correct. Your second word is cashier. A cashier. The cashier has taken all the money to the bank. Cashier. C-A-S-H-I-E-R. Correct. <laughs> Wonderful start here. Speller number one, two, three. I'm John Lebahati from Three Shining Star, Tata Taveta, 14 years old. Your first word is Maram, Maram Road. M-U-R-R-A-M. Correct. Your second word is bed sheets, bed sheets. Bed sheet, B-E-D-S-H-I. I'm afraid you've missed that one, so you can try later. Now, next is number 128. 128, a young man. My name is James Okelo. I'm 11 years old. I come from Acacia Crest Academy, Kajiado County. Good. Your first word is university. University. U N I. V-E-R-S-I-T-Y. Good. You got it right. Your second word is opposite. Opposite. O-P-P-O-S-I-T-E. Correct. You've got it right. The next speller is number 124. 124 if you like. So can you step forward? Yes, right there. My name is Gloria J.B. from Ravine Greenview School, Baringo County, and I'm 13 years old. Great. Your first word is excellent. Excellent. E-X-C-E-L-L-E-N-T. Correct. Your second word is cancer. Cancer. C-A-N-C-E-R. Correct. Speller number 127. Speller number 127. Come forward. My name is Brahman Zuki from Christopher Kiamba Memorial School, representing Makweni County, and I'm 13 years. Good. Now, your first word is squander. Like to squander money or time. S Q U A N D E R. Good. You've got it right. Then your second word is playground. Playground. P L A Y G R O U N D. Correct. <laughs> Speller number 125. And these children are really smart. Hi, everyone. My name is Queen Kirose from Kenrama Education Center in Meru County. I'm 10 years old. And you have a wonderful voice. Now, the first word, your first word is classrooms. Classrooms in plural. Classrooms. C-L-A-S-S-R-O-O-M-S. -S -S. Correct. You are right. Your next word is apologetic. To be apologetic. Apologetic. A P P L L O G I T. You really try, but uh, it has one P. That is A P O L O G E T I C. Apologetic. So, 
don't worry this very round has no elimination so just get back to your seat now we have speller or contestant number 126 can you come forward My name is Precious Atieno from Mumia Township Primary School in Kakamega County. I am 13 years old. Good. Festival is your first word. Festival. Just like music, festival. Festival. F-E-S-T-I-V-A-L. Correct. Your second word is punishment. Punishment. P-U-N-I-S-H-M-E-N-T. Great, and you are also right on that. So can we give them a big hand? And now that they have done that, I said nobody is being eliminated at this stage or at this round. So we are going to the next round, which the best person to give us the explanation is nobody but Kalich. Wasn't that a powerful round, guys? Did you like that round? It felt like, oh my God, it sounds like, you know, this is going to be easy. But I know this word master, he's a trick master. Wait and see what he's going to do. Because we are now moving on to the first elimination stages. In this stage, the spellers will be challenged with the opportunity to spell two words. And you would only proceed to spell a second word if you get the first one right. Now, if you get the first question wrong, you will be asked, to sit down and wait as the rest of the contestants continue with the game. So I'm sure everybody is ready and anticipating to find out who gets to walk away with the title of being the best speller and moving on to the semi-finals. And remember, the Kenya Spelling Bee is brought to you by our sponsors, DPL Festive, Veda Stationery, Ting Ting Confectionery by Kenafric Industries and Containers, better known as Kentac, DT Dobie, who are providing us with the winning school bus, Crown Paints, who will be painting the school that wins this competition, the school where the student who wins goes to. And we also have INM Bank, who have sponsored some of our contestants, as well as Capital Markets Authority. They've sponsored contestants. Some words on the business side are coming from them. So thank you so much to our sponsors, because we couldn't do this without you. Now, if you are sitting at home, you want to talk to us, you've seen something great about this competition, you want your child to be in this competition, or as a teacher, you're thinking your school needs to participate, we want to hear from you. What you need to do is get online and start talking to us with the hashtag Kenya Spelling Bee. And then you can tweet us at Spelling Bee underscore Ken or the Kenyan National Spelling Bee on Facebook. And also do talk to us at KTN Kenya across all platforms. Please make sure you put all those tags in there so that we can reach back out to you. We're going to take a commercial break, guys. My name is Kala Chimumo. I'm your host. But we'll be back because this competition is just about to get lit. See you soon. Available in four flavors, vanilla, strawberry, caramel, and chocolate. Festive cream roll, the perfect snack for all.
Welcome back to the Kenya National Spelling Bee. My name is Kale Chimumo. I'm your host as we try and find out who will be the spelling champion of 2019. Here we are, ready for round two, which is the first of our elimination stages. And in this elimination stage, each speller will be given a chance to, to spell two words should they get the first one right and within 20 seconds. So they must obey the rules of within 20 seconds. So, spellers, I hope you're ready because the wordmaster is ready to play. Let's play. Galeche, thank you very much. And uh, one thing, this is the time that I also depend a lot on my support team. Uh, on my right, we have Maurice Omondi, and that is the scorekeeper. And on my left, we have Mbugwa, and that is Wamboy Mbugwa. She is the timekeeper. So, if you delay, you'll hear something from her. But we always wish you all the best. That is exactly what you'll hear. But now, can we get down to business? So I'll start with speller number 126. Can you step forward? And it's that time that the elimination is there. So your first word is outdoor. Outdoor, that which happens or is done outside the house or a building. Outdoor. O-U-T-D-O-O-R. Correct. Your second word is matador. Matador. That is talking about a person who fights and kills bulls in bullfights. Matador. M-A-T-E-R-D-O-O-R. Oh, I'm afraid you've missed that one. A matador, the word itself is spelled M. A T A D O R. It's a wonderful try, young girl. Keep it up so you can just get back to your seat. <laughs> Speller number 125, can you come forward so that you try your words? Are you fine? Your first word is laundry, where we take clothes to be washed or the clothes themselves, laundry. Laundry, L-A-U-N-D-R-Y. Correct, correct, you are right on that. And your second word is methodologically. Methodologically or methodologically? Methodologically, M-E-C-H-O-D-O. L-O-G-Y. Sorry, you've missed it. You lost the staying power on the way. It's a long word. So you say or you spell it as M-E-T-H-O-D-O-L-O-G-I-C-A-L-L-Y. Methodologically or methodologically, which is also acceptable. You get that? So you've missed it. The next speller is number 127, that is 127. Can you come forward? <laughs> People sometimes use something which you must have seen. You when you go to a petrol station to clear the windscreen or the window of a car. It has some plastic and the word is squeegee. Squeegee. Can you spell squeegee? S-Q-U-E-E-G-E-E. -E -E -E. Correct. Now, your second word is jackdaw. Jackdaw, that is that gray bird. J-A-C-K-D-O-O-R. Oh, you've just missed that part. But you are wonderful, young man. Get that? You've missed that part, but don't worry. That is all about it. Speller number one, two, four. Can you come forward? Your first word is advertisement. We have the verb to advertise, but the noun form is advertisement. So can you spell advertisement? A D V E R T I S E M E N T. Correct. Your second word is heart beast. Heart beast, we are talking about that African antelope with long face and some funny 
mouth like so. Can you spell that word heart beast? Heart beast. H A T B E E S T. We also have wildebeest, but this one we are talking about heart beast. Are we together? Yes. But you have a wonderful try. <laughs> now, the next speller is number 128. The young man, number 128. <laughs> A big hand for him. Your first word is hammock. Hammock, a small hill or pile of earth. Hammock. Hammock. H A M M O C K. You just, just one letter. Don't worry, it has U instead of A. You have your second word, and that is marionette. Marionette. Mar marionette. Yes. M a-R-I-O-N-E-T-T-E. -E. You've got that one right. You see? So can you go and rest? The next speller, that is number 123. 123. Can you come forward? Your first word is euthanasia. Euthanasia. That is the practice of killing without pain a person who is suffering from a disease that cannot be cured. U T H E R N E I Z I A R. I'm afraid you've missed it, but you've tried. So the second word is ampoule. Ampoule. Ampoule refers to the small container usually made of glass where drug is kept and you can be injected from that ampoule. Can you spell ampoule? A M P L E. Uh, not really. You started well, but uh, you got off the rail on the way. It happens. Don't worry. Next speller, that is one, two, nine. We have the word memoir. Can you spell memoir? That is an account written by somebody, especially somebody famous, about their life and experiences. Memoir. M E M. O I R E. Unfortunately, unfortunately, you've just added what is not there. So, your next word is buffoonery. Buffoonery is the fact or act of doing silly but amusing things. Just like somebody can say, the political analyst said buffoonery is a common thing in political campaigns. So, buffoonery. B A F O O N. A R Y. Sorry, you've missed it. The next speller, that is number one, two, two. Your first word is indefinite. I N D E F I N I T E. Correct. Your next word is imitate. To imitate. I M I T A T E. Correct. The next speller is number 130, that is 130. When something is not clear, we talk about blood, but we have the substance blood, blood, damu. But I'm talking about what is not clear when you look at it. That is blood, blood. B, L, U, R, R, E, D. Correct. Your next word is absenteeism. Absenteeism, from the word absent. A, B, S, E, N, T, E, E, I, S, M. Correct. Got both words uh, right. Now, the speller number one, two, one. Are you ready? Your first word is dreadful. Dreadful, very bad or unpleasant. Dreadful. Yes. D R E A 
D F U L. Correct. Your next word imitates an action or some sound when somebody does something. And the word is work. Not kazi. Work. To work somebody. Pardon? Work. To work somebody. For instance, you can say she decided to work the boy with her bag. To hit somebody with something and it's imitative because of the sound when you hit somebody with something. W. A. R. K. Oh, sorry. You missed <coughs> it and it's W. H. A. C. K. To work somebody. But you are still a winner. Now to get back to one and the only Kaleche to take us through the next unfoldings of this event. Wow, I must say that was another all not tying tense kind of round because the word master had his words for these uh, amazing spellers, but they were also very ready. So we have two um, of the spellers who have, who have qualified to round three, battling for position one and two. Three are sadly going to be leaving us after the break, and five of the spellers will be battling it out for the third spot. If you're at home and you're not talking to us, I don't know what's going on, you need to be tweeting us, hashtag Kenya Spelling Bee, at Spelling Bee underscore Ken on Twitter, at, and then uh, you can talk to us on Facebook, that is Kenya National Spelling Bee, or at KTN Kenya. Make sure you're putting in that hashtag. Let us know what you think of the competition. Let us know if you for sure will be participating when we come back, because obviously we're going to keep doing this now. Those of you who have been speaking to your TV, because I know, I know you've been doing it. You've been there saying, it is this. We have a quiz for you. And this quiz, you get to walk away with an amazing hamper uh, from our sponsors. Uh, so if you are ready, the question is, what is the tagline for Veda stationaries? What is the tagline for Veda stationaries? If you think you know the answer, please email us spellingb at standardmedia.co.ke and you could win yourself an amazing hamper. I'm telling you, it's filled with lots of goodies because we have great sponsors who are here. Right now, though, we need to take a quick break because we have to give our spellers a chance to get ready for this major, major round where we get to identify who our champion of the day is, our first runners-up and second runners-up. This is the Kenya National Spelling Bee. My name is Kale Chamumo and we'll be right back. <laughs> our nation through caring for today's needs. Festive Bread, dedicated to a quality life. Gives your walls a tough and beautiful finish. 
available in over 6,000 shades. It hides surface imperfections. Call us on 0709-887-000 to place your order. Crown. If you like it, crown it. back to the Kenya National Spelling Bee. My name is Kale Chemumo and I'm so glad that you're watching and tweeting us that hashtag being Kenya Spelling Bee. Now, we are ready for round three. And in this round, our contestants here will get a chance to answer three words. You must get the first word right to proceed to answer the second and the second right to proceed to answer the third. These are the rules that we are playing with here at the Kenya National Spelling Bee Championships. Now, on top of that, one thing you must make sure you understand, if you get your word wrong, you will be asked to take a seat as we wait and see who walks away with these titles, and those contestants will sail through to the semi-finals. So, if we are ready, um, Wordmaster, I think Very you ready. can go ahead Very and just ready. start the play. Very ready, Kaleche. And that takes us straight to those who are going in for this bout. Now, I'll be guided on that by Maurice Omondi, who is our scorekeeper. Thank you, Willis. We are going to start with the, the top position. That is speller number 122 two, and speller number 130, battling it out for the top spot. Thank you. Now, 130, speller number 130. Can you come forward? <laughs> Your first word is skillful. Skillful. S K I L L F U L. By the rules given out by the organizers, you have to use the British. Spelling. The British spelling is S K I L F U L. So, as it was explained, you have to get it right for you to proceed. So, for that matter, you just get back to your seat so that we see speller number 122. Two. <laughs> Can you spell the word? Mallard, mallard. We are talking about a common wild duck, mallard. M-A-L-A-D. I'm afraid you've missed it, so you also can't proceed. But since you are only two, and we are looking for the person who will be declared the winner for this round, you'll get back so that we again call number 130, to come for another try. 130, can you come? <laughs> Your word is foolscap. F O O L S C A P. Yes, foolscap, <laughs> you are right. Your second word is sandwich. Many people call it sandwich, but please can you spell for us sandwich? S A N D W I C H. Correct. So can you take your seat now? So can we have the speller number one, two, two? Speller number one, two, two. Can you come forward? Speller number one, two, two. Your first word is phoenix. Phoenix. Some say phoenix, but 
you pronounce it as Phoenix, but your work is to spell it Phoenix. P H O E N I X. Correct. Your next word is don't. Don't to make somebody feel nervous and less confident about doing something. Just as, like when you say or the synonym. The synonym is intimidate. So can you spell don't? Use it in a sentence. Okay, you can talk like they feel daunted by the task ahead, but I want you to just spell don't. D-O-N-T. Sorry, you've missed it. Maybe it's a new one to you. It happens. The word is D-A-U-N-T. Don't. Are we together? Yes. But you've made a wonderful try. <laughs> now, from that point, I think we've gone somewhere. Can you guide us if we've uh, made some uh, move somewhere? Yes, we finally have uh, the best mm -hmm. in round three. Speller number one three zero. Number two is speller number one two two. Now we move forward to break the deadlock and get the third one to join them. Thank you. Yes, thank you very much, Maurice Omondi. And in this case, I want to start or to begin with speller number one two one. Can you come forward? Remember, we have three words for you according to the rules that we have been given. And if you miss the first one, you cannot continue with the next one. Are we together? Yes. So please get ready. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Now your first word is began. Began. That is the past tense of the word begin. B E G A N. Correct. Your second word is belfry. Belfry. I'm talking about a tower in which bells ring. Belfry. B E L L F R E E. I'm afraid belfry has one L. So you could have gone ahead if you got the second word right. So don't worry, just take your seat. <coughs> the next speller should be one, two, four. Speller number one, two, four. Your first word, your first word is hemorrhage. Hemorrhage. We are talking about that condition, the medical condition in which there is loss of blood. Hemorrhage. H A M O U R A G E. Sorry, you got it wrong. The right spelling is H A E M O R R H A G E. You get it right now. Don't worry, it was a good try. But if you don't get the first one, you don't continue or proceed. So you'll get back to rest or to take your seat. Yes. Okay, now speller number one, two, five. Speller number one, two, five. Your first word is refrigerator. 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 R E F R I D G E R A T O R. The mistake is G G. It has one G. Don't worry, it happens. So you can relax according to the rules that are there. We have number one, two, six. Number one, two, six. Are you ready for your word? Yes. Now, your word is chassis. We call it chassis. It is that frame on which a vehicle is built. Locally, we find ourselves saying chassis. But the pronunciation of that word is Shasi. Can you spell the word for us? S-C-H-A-S-Y. I'm afraid you've missed it. We have it as C-H-A-S-S-I-S. -S -S -S, and you say Shasi. 
but you've missed the spelling, it happens. Don't worry, because the word itself is also tricky. Number one, two, seven. Number one, two, seven, are you ready? Yes. Can you spell for us the word corduroy or corduroy? Yes. It's a material, that material that you can make into a cloth. Corduroy, can you spell it for us? Mini. Corduroy, I've said, it is that material, can I read it out for you? Yes. A type of strong, soft cotton with a pattern of raised parallel lines on it used for making clothes. Locally, we find ourselves saying corduroy. But I've told you, corduroy. Can you spell the word corduroy? C O R D R O E Sorry, you've missed it. It's C O R D U R O Y. Don't worry, you are a winner, but you've missed it. So, up to that point, I think we need or we have to seek guidance again from uh, that is the score keeper. Finally, we have uh, the top three. Speller number one, three, zero. One, two, two, <coughs> and one, two, one, in that order. Oh, yes. That means we have one, two, three with us from this round. And remember, when it comes to that, the right person to take us through the remaining part of it is none other than Kaleche Mumo. Thank you so much. I think that was a hot round. That was a tight kind of run for our money. So please give these contestants a hearty clap, please. For sure, we didn't know which way it was going to go by the time we had two people tying and looking for the first spot to be the champion of this particular episode. So here we are. We have our position uh, second runners up with 121 is uh, our, our person. If you can just stand where you are, uh, num speller number 121, second runners up. First runners up uh, is uh, 122, if you can just stand up. And our champion for this episode 130, straight from Ksum City. Hey! I mean, thank you so much. You've done so well. Everybody is a winner. We are going to be calling upon the amazing Nazia of Veda Industries. Come on up here because she will be uh, helping us give out the awards. You can take your seats, spellers. Hey Nazia, so how did you how did you find this particular um, episode? It was amazing, inspiring, and respect for these guys and all of the contestants. Good job, teachers, but respect. Right? Respect, right? Were well, there some words you were like? <gasps> yep, definitely. Some of them I've never even heard of, but as they did, they did really well. Yes, this is why this is an episode for absolutely everyone. Every Saturday morning, wake up everybody, bring them to KTN home because the Kenya National Spelling Bee is going to challenge you in ways that you never imagined. So Nazia has amazing uh, things inside here from Veda. First of all, I love the bag. I love the bag. Can I get one? Can we discuss? Okay, 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 we, okay, okay, we'll do, okay, we'll do, okay, we'll discuss, we'll discuss. I just want a pink one. Um, there is pink for the girls, blue for the boys. So um, come on up here and give them out. They have inside these hampers an amazing mat set, which has a timetable. There's color pencils, a funky sharpener, and trivia cards. Uh, that is coming from Vader. I know these things are just, they're just gorgeous. They're gorgeous. I want the trivia cards also. Thank you very much. There's Bible trivia, memory match trivia from the Bible, and Bible go fish. This is really, really something that you want uh, to win. So if you are not in the competition, you know next time what to do. Kenya National Spelling Bee. Register. Yeah, register. And then we have the mathematical set, which comes with the timetable. And we do also have uh, some color pencils 
and then the sharpen okay even the sharpen i want okay i'm sorry i just want um anyway congratulations to all our spellers you get that you also get yourselves a bag that is coming from uh ken tank and you get yourself some ting ting chewing gum from ken Africa industries and of course you have to enjoy those responsibly all our contestants are walking away with medals and certificates and we have more and more coming because you know what this is a competition where everyone gets to win it is not an easy thing as you're sitting at home and remember we do have that quiz that you have uh, taken on and the question that you are answering while you're at home is what is the tag for vader stationaries what is the tagline for Vader Stationers? If you think you know the answer to that, please uh, do email us, spellingbee at uh, standardmedia.co.ke and you could walk away with a hamper just like this. In fact, I might be visiting you because I want the hamper. So can you win it? Then we discuss. Yes? Yes. Thank you very much. This is a Kenya National Spelling Bee. My name is Kale Chamumo. And come next Saturday morning, we have another fabulous edition as we try to get ourselves enough contestants to move to the semi-finals. This is where you need to be every single morning on KTN Home. I'm Kalecha Mumo. Have a great day. The people are just no more like me, so if I struggle, I can beat them all. I feel like panicking, but I just remember the way my family has told me that everything will be all right, and so I did not panic. I feel very happy. I will try to work hard on the spelling, the spelling words. The spelling bee has come to town, make learning all so fun. S-P-E-L-L-I-N-G, great fun for everyone. S-P-E-L-L, like a champion, I'm gonna. S-P-E-L-L, like a champion, I'm gonna. S-P-E-L-L, like a champion. in four flavors vanilla strawberry caramel and chocolate festive cream roll the perfect snack for all rough and tough quality textured coating gives your walls a tough and beautiful finish available in over 6,000 shades it hides surface imperfections call us on 0709-887-000 to place your order Crown. If you like it, crown it.